Hey, another quick check-in on where I'm at on the app development process. So I've got my little low fidelity outline here over here on the right. So you've got your kind of main screen that you come to. You click log in or sign in and you then get the Facebook sign-in screens over here. Um, what I'm going to go through today quickly is just what I've learned on Sketch and trying to take trying to take this low fidelity drawing and turn it into a more high fidelity prototype. So all I did was open up Sketch and I have my different pages over here. In fact, I'm going to do something really quickly just to, just to help this along. I'm going to open up my app, or sorry, my Mac settings here and come to my, let's see, my mouse right here. And I think I can actually change this the size if I go to display. Let me see. Cursor size. There we go. There. Now you can see it. That kind of wigs me out a little bit. But um, what I'm going to do is over here on the left side of Sketch, I'm going to create a different kind of a different um, layer for every single screen that shows up on the app. So the intro screen here, I just did a quick search on Google for an, an iPhone 6 screen, drug it over here, and that now becomes my background that I'll be using for, for the prototype. And then what I want to do is on this prototype, I want to come, or on this layer, so I'm on this intro screen layer, I come down here and I right click and you want to lock, you want to lock that. So I've, if, if I unlock that layer, now if I come in here, I can move that around, but because this is going to be the background layer, I'm just going to come in and lock it. And that will now be kind of a, a locked in place background. And now anything that I add, I can just lay right over the top of it. So I just like to add this frame in there so it looks a little bit more realistic. And then if I come in here, I can duplicate that. Whoop, where'd it go? There we are. Let me uh, scroll over. And so this first one's going to be the intro screen. And let me pull this back up here, the drawing. So this first one up here, this says intro screen. That's going to be this one right here, the IT intro screen. And now I'm going to go ahead and rename this one. It's actually going to be the Facebook login screen. Login. And then I'm going to duplicate this again. And I just go down. Wow, I don't know why this is positioned so weird. So I'm going to come in here and rename that. And let's go, let's make this one the Facebook uh, register. And so I will just quickly duplicate this for as many times as I'm going to need this same background. And so this one right here, there's not going to be many, so I will move my iPad screen over here. And this layer is now going to be my profile. Boom, I'm done here. And so I'll just do that a bunch more times until I have every one. Well, let me have one more. I might as well do it. So right here, I'm going to make that the completed screen. And that ought to be it. I'll just put done. All right. So now I have all of these laid out in Sketch. So I have my intro, my login, my register profile, and done. And now I have to add content or add the actual content of the screen onto each one. And I found this really cool source last night. It's just called Sketch, Sketch App Sources. And I found a whole bunch of just cool designs that are pre-made on here for free that you can download right for the Sketch app, which makes it really nice. So the, the couple that I downloaded were, um, here is a nice profile screen that I'm gonna borrow. So look, I can drag any of these elements and, and implement them right into, into my prototype. So that'll save me a ton of time. And then another big screen that I needed was the Facebook login screen. So I found another one on here. So if I come back here, you'll probably see where I downloaded them. See, here was my profile screen. I looked up iOS profile and it gave me a whole bunch of options and I liked this one so I just downloaded it. Clicked here and downloaded it for free. If I go back a couple, let's see here. 
you can see a couple of those that I've searched through, and here was the Facebook one that I downloaded. So it makes it really nice so I can highlight all of this. Sorry, it's kind of weird working with this huge gargantuan cursor. But I scroll this over, and here I am on the intro screen. I'm going to come over to the Facebook login and just drag. Kind of jumping around all kinds of screens here. Here's the one I downloaded. I'm going to grab this whole thing and drag it over here. And absolutely nothing happens because I just screwed up. Where'd it go? I don't know. I'll have to figure out how to drag all of these. Maybe I'll just copy them. And then come here and paste here. Ah, there's more. It's more like it. And see here on the left, I have my background layer. And then above that, it's pasted all of these other layers. And I can now take this. It's now put it on top of my background, which is nice. And I can now take any of these and edit them for my prototype. So make it look a little bit more customized for this app. Um, so I'll customize this text. And the uh, rest of it, I think I'll leave pretty much the same. And even my sizing on this actually turned out pretty good. So if I lay that over top, yeah, that's going to fit really nicely. But I'm just going to insert a, a shape here. I'm going to go with a rectangle and kind of lay it out over here to block what's already on that screen. So um, I'll actually want to turn that white. So I come over here on the right to the fills, select white, and boom, I've got that. And I'm going to change the width just a little bit so that it, whoop, 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 don't shrink it. Sorry, this huge cursor is just freaking me out. There we go. No, it's not doing it. Go up. Where's my little arrows? <laughs> Hold on here. There we are, I think. Perfect. Now let's have it go up. See that? I click on the width, and it is It's actually shrinking it because my cursor is so crazy big. So I'm just going to say, I want it at 370. Boom. A little bit. Let's go 375. That's more like it. The little arrows weren't working, but this will work. There we are. So now I've got my background there, and I can resize that in a minute to make it fit exactly. And then just slap this stuff on top. I wouldn't be surprised if it lands behind it. It does. So I've still got that selected, and I just come up here and hit this forward button. And over here on the left, you see that all that stuff I've selected now is laying on top of that rectangle. So just a little bit of layering. If you've dealt with any Adobe products or pretty much any design product, you're pretty familiar with layers. So anyway, so now I have already my intro screen, which I've got to design here in a minute. And I've already got my Facebook login screen that I just need some customization for. So pretty cool. So that saved me a ton of time. Now I'm just going to quickly... I'm into my Rihanna profile screen here. Looks like that was my default. I'm going to grab that whole thing. Let's copy that. And on this profile page, I'm going to paste this stuff. So let's paste it here. And it grabbed all of that stuff and pasted it over here. And that looks like it's got to be resized a little bit. So let's grab that. And hit shift so we keep our proportion. And that is just wigging out. There we go. That's grabbed all that. Now I can shrink it down a little bit. So I'll just keep shrinking that and lay it over here. And so next time when I check in, hopefully I'll have all these kind of main screens set up. But I just saved myself, you know, probably an hour and a half of app design stuff by using some of these resources on Sketch app sources. So I've already made some nice headway here in just about 5-10 minutes. So that's it for today.